just making a music video. Yeah. <laughs> hey guys, welcome to Berlin Alley Girls. Today I can present you the wonderful Andrea, and Andrea is from Sisu Socks. So I started Sisu Socks uh, officially November 2018, and our socks are inspired by badass women. Mm -hmm. So my idea was, I was really inspired by this children's book um, called Bedtime Stories or Good, Good, Night, Good Time Stories. I don't remember the exact term for rebel girls. I really loved that. So I wanted to, yeah, do something kind of like that. And I've always had a weird passion for socks. I don't know why, they just make me happy. It's important for me that women and men are treated equally and um, but yeah the socks are sort of like they're cool they're really cool designs I can, I'm not just saying are, that to are say you wearing them today do you want to show the audience sorry about my dirty <laughs> shoes entrepreneur <laughs> life I felt like everyone was just trying to push you to be this massive thing and like just grow 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 but that isn't suitable for everyone like that doesn't have to be your goal your goal could just be I'm gonna build a brand that's gonna sustain me in my soul and fill me up and like excite me. I kept changing jobs and thinking the next one's gonna make me happy. Yeah. And it just wasn't. Um, and it took me a while to realize that I just, the bosses that I had, I'm not saying they're bad people or they're bad bosses. They just like, it didn't fit my vibe and I, Maybe I had too many expectations and they weren't filling them, you know? I wanted, I wanted a leader at work, a boss at work that kind of cared more about like emotional intelligence and not just like, let's get our shit done. So you wouldn't go back to a company or a big company? You just like, You know, sometimes like you get... I mean, of course, like yeah, you yeah, wake yeah. up and you have so much to do and yeah. there's, yeah, you need to get shit done. Yeah, company. exactly. It's maybe like a little bit overwhelming, but you don't have the drive to just like, oh yeah, fuck it, like... You know, sometimes it's like... <sighs> At the beginning, of course, you're not going to earn all the money, and so yeah, you have to cool. figure out ways how to pay your bills but still live your passion. And sometimes I'm like, oh, maybe I'll like look for some part-time thing and do it like four times a week and like go to the office and blah blah. But I don't know, like gives me the stomach ache to even like think about having to apply for jobs because it just like doesn't suit me anymore. I realized like it took me a long time to actually realize that it was possible to have a job where you're not like in the office nine to five. I honestly did not know that that was a thing mm -hmm. until I moved to Berlin basically. I knew these days exactly like when you wake up and you have so much to do but you're not that motivated mm -hmm. like and also with you self-applied or have your own company like how you stay motivated all the time you know, because you're yeah. not working like under a boss, or you're not having a person yeah, yeah, yeah. who's always like pushing. You have to, yeah, get to that deadline. There are days where like the fear of having so much to do stops me from actually doing it, because you're just like so caught up in your own thoughts, like oh, if I don't do this, then this, and it's so toxic. It is so toxic, and I wish that we were taught as kids how to deal with that, how to deal with these toxic thoughts that like aren't reality it's just like you're just making it up in your head some people are like oh how can you live such a structured life but i have to you got to figure out what works for you and it really like you just got to try it out so for me it's like figuring out okay these days i'm going to work on this and this and sometimes i go as like even more detail and i say okay from like 10 to 12 i'm going to do this and i set those time limits for myself so I set these like, okay, hour, 10 minutes, I got this and this task. And I don't say like, okay, social media is a task. I like make, I detail it down. Like, and for me, like I feel like I completed something if I have a checklist that I crossed stuff off. So if it means like making like three tasks out of one bigger one, that's gonna make me feel better that I actually did something yes. that day. And I think what's really, what would be really cool is like, and saying like, okay, let's meet once every two weeks and be accountable for each other. And you meet for an hour and a half, whatever, two hours, and you say, okay, th these are the things that I want to accomplish in the next two weeks. And then you're like, okay, it's not just for me and my business. Like, I want to do these things that I promised these girls that I would do. We're in a really good place right now where female empowerment, women empowerment is becoming super... It's a big, it's a big topic. Yeah, yeah and I, like... it's, it's time. Like, we got to listen to this and do something about it. Like, I'm tired. I'm tired of not being 
treated equally, and I'm sure every other woman is, so. Yeah, I think the best way to do that is for us to come together. And, and I mean, this is why you were creating your business. This is like yeah, what exactly. is all, all about, right? Yeah. I hope you learned a lot. I think it's really inspiring to have all these great entrepreneurs and like talking about and also like female empowerment is a big topic in Berlin right now and it's going bigger and bigger. It's a, it's a great vision you follow and you should keep up with it. Thank you. So yeah, guys, see you next time and thank you for watching and um, smash the follow button and like button, of course, if you want to see more videos than that, then yeah, see you next time. Cool.